the Vogue gaming company that has been ruining gaming for years now. Let's see. It's actually like a really kind of a big story. Uh, that's, I mean, at least, I don't know, you say real big story. Like, I mean, this is my opinion of like what a big story is. But, um, so, so did you notice that one? That's what happens to you when you're afraid of expressing your opinion because you have been dragged through the mud for now two weeks or something like that on the internet constantly because of your shitty takes. He's afraid to say, oh, I think this is a big story because he doesn't want anyone to say, Oh, look at this millionaire. This is the big things in your life. Some kind of Vogue gaming company. Ah, you love to see it. Oh, Sweet Baby uh, Incorporated. This is the, in my opinion, I think that water, I know. Yeah, well, I've said, I've said before, right? If I'm ever drinking water, you know I'm down bad. I got maybe two hours of sleep, okay? So you... Makes sense. Everyone who says that Asmongold doesn't care about the criticism, you're a literal idiot. You're such- you're so stupid it's actually a miracle. Yes. Anyway, let's get back over to this. Sweet Baby Employee. So, Sweet Baby Incorporated, this is the, uh, let me see if I can- can I- can I find us to the Twitter page here? Yeah, uh, let me see if I can find it. So, working at Sweet Baby Incorporated, this is a- basically, in my opinion, and this might be a very unpopular opinion, but I feel like this company is being used as a boogeyman. And people view this company, it's kind of like the World Economic Forum on a smaller scale. Where, like, I don't think the- Wait, is he gonna call the World Economic Forum not bad? Uh, not a collective of people that literally want to dictate every aspect of your life because, uh, they were born rich and they know better? What, what do you mean the econom World Economic Forum is not that bad? Have they not literally publicly came out and said that they want to be the rulers of your life? Because they pretty much have. They want to say what you can, what you can do. And one of the best things about the World Economic Forum is this. For example, their carbon tax. Oh yes, you get a carbon tax, buddy. Of course you do. Okay? Because, remember, whenever you have this group of elites... Obviously, the rules apply to only you, but never for them, okay? Rules for you, but not for me. And I think the World Economic Forum expresses that perfectly. And we can just look at their carbon, uh, carbon tax idea to just uh, say how it is. So everyone gets a carbon tax. If you exceed this carbon tax, well, you cannot go on a vacation. You cannot drive a car and do things like this. And obviously, everyone's equal because, you know, you can't have these things without saying everyone's equal. But you see, the trick is, Bill Gates, after implementing the carbon tax, do you think he's not going to fly on a plane? Do you, do you think he's not going to go to the grocery sh uh, store two minutes on foot on his private jet? Of course he will continue to do that. Because you see, the rich are just, uh, the rich will have the option, the ability to just uh, buy carbon footprint from poorer people who don't use it up, because why obviously not? So, essentially, your life's screwed, and they're living like kings. This is the World Economic Forum in its most primal state, in its most true state. And pretty much everything th that th there is to talk about the World Economic Forum is pretty much like that. Okay, all of their decisions are like that. They choose to ignore some specific data of science because, well, that's bad science, obviously. And, you know, stuff like that. I probably don't really need to explain too much here, do I? The World Economic Forum is, you know, actually the Illuminati in plain sight. And they're not actually trying to, like, you know, kill everybody. And well, the Bohemian Grove was a conspiracy theory until the point they got exposed and then they were just out in the open. Uh, yeah. Here is us, a bunch of elitists, doing God knows what kind of evil things in a forest where no one is allowed to enter. And if you do, you could get re deleted. I mean... They just came out in the open because the reality is, what are you going to do about that? Not much. And do all these things. They're kind of like a representation that people can see. And because people see this example of it, then they latch on to it 
and they're like these that that does not make it invalid though are the core people that are causing all of our problems i understand i totally understand the problem that people have with this but i don't think that these people are the only uh symptom of that now obviously i disagree with like what what their kind of like their their goals are i i disagree with these because i find them to be antithetical to the nature of what art is uh but of course obviously art is decided by the artist i think the issue is whenever people feel so i'm gonna paraphrase what he's saying Oh, you know this evil thing that people are talking about? Yeah, they do this, sure, but they're not the only ones. So you shouldn't actually be wary of them because, you know, they're not the only ones. But these are, but since they are a part of it, they're just a small part of it, ignore them. That's kind of a stupid thing to say. Feel like they have to do this instead. So anyway, yes, these are an easy target and uh, these are people that are working at the, uh, at the company. And basically, this happened, I think, two days ago. I didn't cover it then because I just didn't really think it was that big of a deal. But now, uh, it, it's definitely worth talking about. What ended up happening is that there is a Steam, uh, there is a Steam group, and there is a person who is looking for any game that used Sweet Baby Incorporated as a consultancy. And they wanted to put that in, the, in like... He's already misrepresenting what's happening here. I actually watched a video about this yesterday. Huh. <laughs> Coincidence. Nice. Actually, very on time. Uh, but no, Asmongold is already completely blatantly spreading misinformation here. He should delete the video, obviously, because, you know, he says that that's how it should work. This group is not just randomly stalking games as he makes it out to be to, you know, find what Sweet Baby Inc. works on. They they post it on their own page. This Steam group literally just takes uh, source information from Sweet Baby Inc. themselves and posts it. That's it. Like some sort of review. So anybody who, who goes into playing this game knows that, you know, basically the people that made this game uh, like consulted this, you know, like inclusion agency to try to tone down any sort of things that could be issues. It's basically like a, um, uh... He's mi misrepresenting everything again. Uh, they're not toning down things that could be issues. They are literally vocifying and importing things that make absolutely no sense, like the word Latinx, for example, as everyone who's Latin very much loves that word, obviously. You know, they're just putting in words like that, and that's what they get paid for, for making stories worse, because, you know, that matters. But like, you know, like on, on a cigarette, where it says, like, this will give you lung cancer. It's it's like a, uh, it's a warning label. It's really simple. And uh, obviously, big surprise, the employees that work at that company are not happy about that. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to look and get somebody who get all of their followers to come together and uh, basically, like, uh, come together and, like, uh, w w fuck, sorry, I s got two hours of sleep, so, you know, it's a bit hard for me. Uh, come together and mass report. Come together and mass report and ban the people that are running this different page to silence the people that are trying to hold them, like, and I, I don't even understand the logic in this either. It's like if people disagree with what you're doing, like, isn't that their right to disagree with it? I mean, if people think, yeah, I don't want to play this game because, uh, you know, I feel like it doesn't have an authentic sense of art because it's being, you know, decided by people that aren't even making the content. Yeah, I think so. I think that's pretty reasonable. Okay, so he severely just downplayed everything that they're doing. You can literally see it on the tweet. They're trying to get the Steam to ban them. Because they don't like them. Uh, they're labeling it harassment for obviously no reason, because everything's harassment, right? And they they are trying to dox this person who is uh, who founded the group and get him personally banned because they don't obviously like him. Okay? Th th this, is, this is not just a situation, oh, they're, they're just trying to mass report something. No, no, no. They are actively trying to destroy... This group, and especially the person who started it. And it's also like not that they're calling for harassment or anything else, but let's read the post. And this is a post written by an employee of Sweet Baby. 
Uh, the Steam Curator Harassment Group, Sweet Baby Incorporated, detected, and so that's where it is, is led by this person, uh, K Krampus Rambo. Uh, there, here's them trying to be slick so they don't get reported. Even with the discriminatory language filed off, the group itself still fails uh, the, the code of conduct. So it fails the code of conduct. Well, let, let's go ahead and let's read what, what is cited here and see if it actually... Okay, this person clearly made their, their tweets private because people disagreed with them. Um, yeah, that's what happens. This is, this is really what the problem is here, is that um, you know these people have no problem privating their own narrative. They have no problem privating their own Twitter whenever uh, they're receiving negative feedback or they're getting criticized or whatever, and whenever people aren't okay with their narrative. But whenever other people aren't okay, sorry, with, whenever people disagree with their narrative, they immediately put themselves on protected mode and they exercise discretion in what they want to see. But they don't offer that same ability for other people if they want to do that through a Steam page. You understand how this is effectively the same thing? Like, is you're, you're allowing people to censor content. And I am a big advocate of... I mean, kinda. I think everyone gets what he's kinda trying to say with a lot of charitability. Self-censorship. I am a big advocate of it. I think that if you don't want to see something, you shouldn't have to see it. So I think that it's very problematic that this person is going to put out an opinion and then protect their account whenever effectively these other people want to protect their account by avoiding other opinions. They're literally doing the same thing, but in a different order with a different sense of, uh, of, of goals. So that's basically what ends up happening. And so anyway, even with the discriminatory language filed off, let's see if we see any discriminatory language. I'm gonna see if I can find this real quick and, uh, and go from there. Um, our pe Probably not, because this is as, well, stupid as it gets, obviously. People like this? Uh, it's very simple. Uh, people are like this because they are constantly told that they have the moral authority. America. There you go. The easy explanation. There you go. Authority ...to act like belligerent bad people, and once you give people enough moral authority, they become tyrants. And that's just proven by all of human history. Like, that's basically where I would start, is I would say, like, all of human history, and then specifically religion. So, yeah, yeah, that's basically it. And, uh, anyway, I'll go back and I'll see if I can find this page myself. Um, Sweet Baby Inc. Detected. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can look it up. Because, as I said before, guys, I do really like to look these things up myself, rather than... Yeah, that first time i see that then have somebody else tell me okay so this is a tracker okay. and we've got it right here so this is it here sweet baby incorporated and this is the steam page right here it's got already twenty-one thousand followers man i wondered how much it shot up after all of this uh, bonanza happened so there's clearly a lot of people that feel this way, especially for something that feels so niche. In my opinion, I think it's... I watched one video on this yesterday, but I think I saw in my recommendations like two or three videos covering this topic. Actually quite niche. But I think it's more representational of the fact that people are tired of having their narratives and stories and video games and also other types of media be um, uh, handicapped and circumcised by people who... Um, are fucking weird, right? I could have used another, I could have made... Mentally ill. That's not a hard thing to say. A week. Another joke, but I'll try to be a nice guy today. Uh, but people that they disagree with. Anyway, so we've got a few of these here, and these are the reviews, and if you look at, for example... And if you look at it, it's all the games that people had problems with. Uh, about. Okay, Whew. this is about. A tracker for games involved with, with Sweet Baby Incorporated. So, as we can see here, does anybody see any discriminatory, or sorry, let me make sure that I'm using the word correctly. Uh, yes, even with the discriminatory language filed off, uh, is there any discriminatory language or anything? I wonder what part of the code of conduct they are trying to say that they fail. Was it harassment? Problematic here. Uh, I, I would say that there's definitely not. I think this is an... And by the way, look at this. This is what I'm saying. They, they're not following anything. They're just using sources that are IMDB, which they themselves list as much as I understand that, and their own website. 
So they're using using publicly available material. They're they're not they're not scouring the deepest darkest recesses of the internet to find what they do. They they just they just use you know sources that they themselves provide essentially. Extremely reasonable thing. And if people don't want to watch, like you know, for example, like Bethesda, like all games that Bethesda made, you don't want to watch it and play any of those games. Like by the way, all of these games are absolute shit garbage. Look at the start field. The two out of ten. Uh, for for spoken didn't actually play it, but it's garbage as we all know because I have seen the cutscenes and it's like wow, wow, someone with five mental deficiencies probably made it, and Saints Row the newest one, which is just okay. Uh, we we need a chopping block now, boys, because that's that's just too far. You don't want to watch it and play any of those games. Like you're free to make a list of that. Why do these people think that they have the unique authority to remove people from uh, from collectively deciding not to consume their content? Well, because uh, they are on the right side of history. There you go. That's literally probably their argument. And, and this is really what the problem is here, is that it's, it's, always, it's not enough for these people to have their own perspective and try to change narratives in their way. But whenever you say, no, I don't want to hear your narrative, then you're harassing them. Then you're attacking them. Then somehow you're breaking the rules. These are people who were hall monitors in fifth grade. They asked the teacher, you forgot to pick up our homework in the ninth grade. Uh, they were trying to, you know, do extra work and like, you know, senior year and making everything more fucking complicated, telling on people in 11th grade for like being on their phone. Like these are professional hall monitors that add, in my opinion. Yeah, medic is a fucked up place. Uh, literally no value to anyone or anything. And so, and actually that's not true. Uh, not only do they not add value, but they actively take it away. It's one thing to just do nothing and be useless, but it's another thing to take something that's good and then ruin it, which is what a lot of people are, are accusing them of. Now, I do think that it's a legitimate concern, and it's actually true that Sweet Baby is getting kind of scapegoated in this problem, and I think that they are a symptom and not the disease. Well... It, I hate these arguments. Oh well, that's not the that that's just the symptom. Not it's not a disease. Yeah, but are you just gonna um, let it run rampant? I mean, the people in charge of Sweet Baby Inc. are literally Anita Sarkeesian and Zoe Quinn. Uh, Zoe Quinn is responsible for fake accusations to the lead, the to the self deletion of a dude, and they're kind of proud of it. Uh, Gamergate, all of that good stuff. This is just simply a massive zeitgeist that's happening in media right now anyway. And because they're the ones that people have decided are the ones that are wrong, then, well, now everybody's going to be talking about them. That's it. Yes, they're not the only company for this. And it is definitely, like, kind of overrepresented about that. Whiny status horrors, man, largely? Yes, I would say pretty much that. And so, anyway, kindly report the fuck out of this group and report the creator since he loves his account so much. So it, it's not enough for them to remove the, uh, which, by the way, I think they have no justification for doing so. But it's not enough for them. See, it's already gone up by 100 followers, literally, in the time that I watched it. Uh, it's not enough for them to remove what they think is breaking the terms of service. And this is the problem with these people. Is this it? Because uh, we, we know everything you're about to say. And if we with what I'm saying, it's it, like, yeah, I mean... Uh, 11 minutes ago, he says, guys, I appreciate all the messages and friend invites I've been receiving. I'm going to accept you all in due time. It's just that right now I can't. There's so much stuff happening at the same time here. And on X, I simply cannot answer you all. I'm sorry for the right to discuss. Like, I mean, you saying of racists. That's crazy. How could you ever expect anything other other than that? Yeah, it's common sense. So, yeah. Oh, he's watching his own Reddit. Okay, so this is kind of just... Uh... Not, not interesting. Well, anyway, I think that's it. Uh, interesting subject matter. Not really interesting. We already know how this goes. Let's hope nothing bad happens to them. Let's hope Sweet Baby Inc. goes bankrupt because... 
Man, whose favorite part of Spider-Man 2 was not playing with the blind deaf girl and spraying graffiti? I've... It's impossible that that wasn't your favorite part. Anyway, this was Quizzer Sensei. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and have a nice day. Bye-bye.